Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to another little, uh, short little speed paint slash thingy thing for Mermaid. Uh, so, <laughs> I wanted to keep this short and simple, but fun. And this is basically the best one that I've done so far. I've only done this one, but you know, <laughs> it's good. But, yeah, I uh, just wanted to provide this uh, little showcase to you all and everything. I had a lot of fun making this one. It was a uh, super out of my comfort zone, as per most things in digital art still are. But uh, in doing this, I figured out gestures. I figured out how to blur stuff, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, basically how that came to be. But uh, this prompt here, this is the first prompt of Mermaid. This is the prompt titled Angelic. And with my character Gwen, I was like, huh, let me just go ahead and do that because she fits that bill almost perfectly. And uh, I did this entire thing over the course of like, I think two hours, maybe, maybe three and a half, two and a half. But I was watching Invincible. And uh, if you've seen the show, you already know that was a, that show kind of uh, hit me like a truck, which was fun. But um, back to this, uh, I was just you know, figuring out what I wanted to do in this early stage. And uh, with the prompt being angelic, I was just like, hmm. Uh, in my thumbnails, I designed this entire piece to be kind of, uh, what was it? It was kind of um, cloudy. But then I was like, uh, I don't really need clouds in space, even though clouds do exist in space. I could have just made it a nebula. But um, <laughs> as you see, I'm blurring everything and just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But uh, instead of doing the clouds, I, I use the blurs. And I think that worked a lot better than I thought. But I think also I should have turned everything around and um, made it just a little different. But overall, I liked it. And I'm still trying to figure out how to light this character, even in even in the depths of space. I think I get it and achieve it properly towards the end. And you'll see that, but it was, uh, it was interesting how, it was interesting how, uh, I made, you know, the streaks and the burns that you'll see later on. Uh, this is actually my very first time using the burn tool consistently the way I wanted to, uh, but, um, yeah, after, after my Photoshop course, yeah, this is basically the only other time I've used the burn tool and it makes sense. And I think the orange the or at least the way i use the orange makes a lot of sense in that way kind of and i am talking too much but um to to close all this out basically and uh to let you enjoy the rest of it um i enjoyed it and i hope you all are enjoying mermaid as well and uh hope you all are participating in it too because like i said i wanted to do uh four illustrations just like i did last year just so i won't uh, you know, go crazy with all these prompts and stuff. But yeah, with that being said, I will uh, catch you all later and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video.